you can go online and find our home flipping evaluator. We give that we give that away for free for a lot of people. And the home flipping evaluator will let you know how much you can pay for a piece of property. It gives you what's called your Mayo, your maximum allowable offer. And in the Mayo or the maximum allowable offer, you can then determine what's the most I can pay for a house. What's the most I can pay for a house to be profitable with that house and not be, not put myself in a risky situation. If you look at a wholesaler's numbers and they are within those numbers, then I say buy the house. Now, can you negotiate with a wholesaler? Absolutely, unless the wholesaler has multiple offers. Then there's no negotiating at all, right? The wholesaler's dream is to have multiple offers in their property and drive the price up, which a lot of people do. However, the market is changing from a buyer's market uh, from a seller's market to a buyer's market. So I think you'll see a lot more negotiating going on with wholesalers. You know, if we only have one offer on the table, we're gonna negotiate a lot more on that offer than if we have five offers on the table. Because usually out of five offers, somebody's gonna offer a lot more for that property and we're gonna take that as a wholesaler. So build good relationships with wholesalers and you'll find it's another great avenue to find properties. The very simple, basic thing to remember is, if the math doesn't work, don't buy the deal. And if it does, buy it.